Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Shelter Game, I Can Synthesize Infinitely. Chapter 11 The Howling Wind Passed by My Ears. Bai Yi lay on the tiger mother's back, holding Cerebellax, who was looking around curiously, in his arms. After the tiger mother agreed to leave with him, Bai Yi rode the tiger mother out of the cave and prepared to return to the shelter. But before leaving the mountain, Bai Yi lowered his head and asked the tiger mother. Tiger mom, do you know where there are buildings in this mountain? Ho, building. Yes, it's a human-like building. The tiger mother nodded and roared. Roar, it seems there is. Is it really there? Can you take me there to have a look? Bai Yi said in surprise. The previous villages have proven one thing, there are more good things in buildings. After coming to this mountain, I kidnapped the tiger mother and got a black iron treasure chest. Although the overall harvest was good, who would think that the harvest would be more? Roar, the tiger mother nodded, immediately changed direction and ran towards the other side. The tiger mother is very large, about twice the size of the Siberian tiger, but despite her large size, she is also very fast. It flashed like a white lightning in the darkness. It takes Bai Yi an hour to travel, but tiger mother will be there in a few minutes. Passing through mountains and forests. After a while, a wooden house covering an area of more than 100 square meters appeared in view. There is actually a place like this in the mountains. Bai Yi became surprised. Tiger Mother roared. His paws drew pictures on the ground and made gestures. Bai Yi saw Tiger Mother draw a staff-like equipment and couldn't help but guess. You mean this used to be the residence of a mage? Roar. The Tiger Mother nodded, showing a, you are very smart, expression. In response, Bai Yi's mouth twitched slightly, and he didn't know whether he was happy or unhappy about being exaggerated by the tiger. But soon a smile appeared on his face. Since it is the residence of the mage, there is a high probability that there will be good things there. Bai Yi controlled the character to get off the tiger mother and said. Tiger mom, I plan to go in and take a look, will you come with me? Roar, the tiger mother rolled her eyes angrily, my son is still hanging on you, what do you think? Hey, isn't it convenient for me to hold it? Bai Yi probably guessed what Tiger Mother meant and didn't show the slightest bit of embarrassment. After all, if you have such a powerful fighting force by your side, you don't need to use it in vain. Walking towards the wooden house, Bai Yi remained cautious. There was no danger around the wooden house, allowing Bai Yi to arrive at the door safely. Just as he was about to open the door, Tiger Mother suddenly growled. Bai Yi immediately controlled the character to take two steps back. Tiger Mom, are you saying there's danger inside? Roar, Bai Yi had no doubt. The intuition of beasts is much stronger than that of humans, which is honed through constant battles in the wild. What's more, extraordinary beasts have a keener sense of danger. Bai Yi asked, is it dangerous? The tiger mother thought for a while, shook her head, and nodded again, making Bai Yi look confused. After thinking for a while, he asked. You mean, there's a certain degree of danger, but it's not very dangerous. Roar, yes, he is indeed the smartest human being I have ever seen. The tiger mother nodded with satisfaction. After receiving a positive reply, Bai Yi did not continue to stand in front of the door, but pulled tiger mother back a certain distance. Then he took out a stone from his backpack and threw it at the wooden door. There was a bang. The wooden door had rotted for many years, and a stone broke directly into it, making a sound. Then, a scream came out. Then a poisonous cloud sprayed out. Poison. Bai Yi's expression changed slightly and he quickly avoided it. As for the tiger mother, her response was even faster than Bai Yi's. There was a bang. The poisonous cloud fell on the ground not far away, quickly corroding a large pit. Bai Yi felt familiar and stared at the door of the wooden house. Accompanied by the soft sound of movement, a huge, black-haired spider slowly crawled out. It had a human face on its body, with the same facial features as humans, and its eyes were flashing red. It looked very, twisted and weird. But Bai Yi breathed a sigh of relief and sneered. What did I think it was? It turned out to be a spider monster. The spider monster is the product of the evil god, or the product of the transformation of the evil god's followers, and was contaminated by the evil god. When some worlds were invaded by evil gods, some creatures chose to believe in evil gods out of despair, thus gaining the energy of evil gods. If you can withstand it, you will become stronger and spread the belief of the evil god in the dark land. 
but if you can't bear it, you will mutate and become a monster. The spider monster in front of me is the latter. Of course, this does not mean that the spider monster is weak, in fact it is very strong. But compared to unknown monsters, Baiyi at least understands the spider monster. He knew that spider monsters were afraid of fire, and he happened to master the divine flame technique, so it wasn't too troublesome to solve it, but he had to be careful. After all, the power of the poisonous cloud just now is still vivid. If it were hit, even the bones would be corroded. Roar, looking at the man and the tiger in front of him, the human face on the spider monster screamed again and spit out a cloud of poison. Bai Yi and Tiger Mother hid quickly. Bai Yi shouted, Tiger Mom, can you freeze it? Roar, the Tiger Mother roared, then opened her mouth and breathed out white cold air, covering it with frost. Wherever it passed, the ground was covered with frost. The spider monster opened its mouth and exhaled a strong wind, blowing away the cold air. Immediately afterwards, he aimed at Bai Yi, spit out poisonous spider silk, and turned it into a large net. Bai Yi frowned slightly, used the divine flame technique, turned into a fire snake and roared away, instantly burning the spider silk into ashes, and continued to blast towards the spider monster. As if feeling the fatal threat from the golden white flames, the spider monster chose to avoid it. Tiger mom, freeze him! Bai Yi shouted quickly. Roar! The tiger mother roared and exhaled cold air the moment she heard Bai Yi's voice. The spider monster had just avoided the fire snake transformed by the divine flame technique, but it was unable to escape the tiger mother's cold air. With a clicking sound, it was frozen into an ice sculpture. Nice, just leave it to me next. Bai Yi's eyes lit up, and he released the divine flame technique again, turning it into a fireball and throwing it away. There was a bang, the ice sculpture melted instantly, swallowed up the spider monster, and burned crazily. Before it even had time to scream, the spider monster was burned to death, turning into a charred corpse. Haha, ha, although it consumes a lot of energy, who doesn't love its power? Bai Yi laughed and immediately stepped forward to collect it. Collection is successful, you have obtained spider monster venom x1, spider monster meat x1, and spider monster spider silk x1. Close black lens bracket. A pile of garbage, but Bai Yi doesn't care. He happens to be trading tomorrow and will see if he can synthesize something good later. After solving the spider monster, Bai Yi looked at the tiger mother and asked. Tiger mom, is there any danger inside? The tiger mother sniffed and then shook her head to indicate that there was no danger. Seeing this, Bai Yi raised the corners of his mouth. Then it's time to hunt for treasure. Come on, tiger mom, let's go in. Hey, you can go in by yourself, why do you need to take me with you? Ahem, I feel safe because of you. Ho, coward. Facing Bai Yi's sincere gaze, the tiger mother raised a hint of disdain on her lips and walked into the wooden house swaggeringly. Bai Yi grinned and followed him nonchalantly. The cabin was in chaos. After the tiger mother came in and sniffed, she found a place to lie down and was too lazy to move. Bai Yi followed in and looked carefully. Probably because of the spider monster, many places in the wooden house were covered with spider webs, and there was a musty smell, which was very uncomfortable. There is nothing in the hall except some furniture. Bai Yi put the cerebellar axe in the tiger mother's arms and said, Tiger mom, I'm going to take a walk first. You wait for me here. Roar, the tiger mother didn't even raise her head. She pressed the cerebellar axe that wanted to follow Bai Yi away and started licking it, making the cerebellar axe make a squealing sound, which seemed very reluctant. Bai Yi couldn't help but smile when he saw it, then opened the door on the side and walked in. This room should be said to be the room before the mage mutated. There is a large bed in it, just like Simmons, very soft. There is a desk and a bookshelf next to it. So many books. Yes, they are all mine now. Bai Yi raised the corner of his mouth and put the bookshelf and books into his backpack with a wave of his hand. These books are all knowledge, very precious, and they contain some extraordinary information. He remembers that in his last life, someone found many magic books in a mage tower, and learned some formulas for potions, thereby making a fortune. Although these books may not contain such valuable knowledge, it is good to read them when you are bored in the future to pass the time. After putting away the bookshelf, Bai Yi continued to search the room. There were many messy documents on the desk. Bai Yi picked up a few and looked at them. Some have incomprehensible magic circles painted on them. 
some of them record some spellcasting principles. These were of no use to Bai Yi, so he threw them away after looking at them for a few times. Opening the desk drawer, he found two small wooden boxes. After taking them out and opening them, Bai Yi suddenly showed a happy smile on his face. There are three bottles of medicine in the two wooden boxes. One color is red, one color is blue. It's actually magic medicine and recovery medicine. Bai Yi recognized these two potions at a glance. Magic potion and recovery potion. Among them, the recovery potion has little effect on him. Just from the name, you can tell that it is used to recover injuries, but Bai Yi has the divine flame technique and can recover on his own if he is injured. Moreover, he had used recovery potions in his previous life. These three bottles should be low-level recovery potions, and their effects were not as good as his own divine flame technique. But magic potion is a good thing, it can restore magic power. Bai Yi is short of magic power now. Although both are low-level like the recovery potion, one bottle is enough to restore two-thirds of Bai Yi's magic power, which means that these three bottles of magic potion represent three opportunities to release the divine flame technique. As a trump card, it can have a big effect sometimes. Putting away the potion, Bai Yi continued searching in the room. Bai Yi quickly searched the room and left after finding nothing else of value. There are three rooms in the cabin. Bai Yi went to another one. There is a research bench in this room, which should be the place where the mage conducts research. There are also many documents on the research bench, as well as some instruments that are incomprehensible. Unfortunately, they have been in disrepair for a long time and have been damaged, losing their original value. Not long after entering the house, Bai Yi found a wooden treasure box in the corner. You open the wooden treasure chest and obtain the Qing Liu bracelet. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Qing Liu bracelet. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. A bracelet worn by a mage is shaped like a flowing river and is enchanted with magic, which reduces the magic power consumption by one-third when casting spells. Close black lens bracket. Hey, a piece of equipment was actually released. Moreover, the capabilities of this piece of equipment are very suitable for me. Bai Yi immediately showed a surprised smile on his face and put on the bracelet. Yes, it is indeed the equipment brought by the Mage Master. It looks very good and matches my temperament, haha. Bai Yi admired it for a long time and was very satisfied. Unfortunately, except for a wooden treasure box, there are no other valuable things in this room, and Bai Yi can only go to the last room. The last room was empty, it should be a warehouse-like place. There were originally a lot of medicinal materials stored in it, but now they are all broken and look disgusting. Ah, Bai Yi frowned and controlled the character to walk in and immediately started searching. No trace of the treasure chest was found, but a shining ring was found in the corner. Damaged flame ring. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. It was originally a ring with magical power attached to it, but it was damaged during an unknown adventure. Close black lens bracket. This ring seems to be okay. Bai Yi put it away without hesitation. It may not be of any use to other players, but it is a treasure to Bai Yi. Fortunately, he still has the fire crystal collected today, which he can consider using to synthesize it. But this should be the final reward. Apart from the ring, he found nothing else of value in the room. In order to prevent omission, Bai Yi searched again. After making sure there were no other undiscovered treasures, Bai Yi returned to the living room. The tiger mother raised her head and looked over. Who, can you go? Yes, you can go. Roar. The tiger mother nodded, took the initiative to bite the cub in her arms and handed it over, and then squatted down. After Bai Yi turned over and rode up, the tiger mother walked out of the wooden house. There was a crashing sound. On the screen of the mobile phone, drizzle drops are falling, accompanied by the feeling of gradually getting heavier. Bai Yi frowned and said immediately, Tiger mom, go north. Roar. The tiger mother nodded and started running. The heavy rain is getting heavier and heavier, giving people a bad premonition. But fortunately, the tiger mother is very fast. More than 10 minutes later, he returned to the shelter. Hopefully it won't be a natural disaster. Listening to the sound of pouring rain on the mobile phone, Bai Yi looked worried. This kind of world after being eaten away by evil gods is already filled with the power of evil gods, and the climate is very chaotic. Now the heavy rain is getting heavier and heavier, reminding Bai Yi of the floods in his previous life. 
If a disaster does occur, it will be difficult to explore in the next few days. Shaking his head, Bai Yi suppressed the worries in his heart and walked into the shelter with the big and small tigers. Roar, the tiger mother shook the water off her body, looked at Bai Yi and roared. That look is obviously saying, where is my meat? Bai Yi smiled and said, don't worry, I'll give you some meat after I finish the things at hand. Good harvest today. In addition to the collected materials, there are also shelter-specific props, potions and equipment. Because there was only one synthesis opportunity left today, Bai Yi decided to synthesize the ring he just got. After placing the synthesis box in the shelter, Bai Yi took out the ring and fire crystal from his backpack. Damaged magic ring plus fire crystal. Click compose. Little bits of light emitted, and a prompt immediately appeared on the screen. The synthesis is successful, you have obtained the flame ring. Close black lens bracket. Fire ring. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. The magic ring formed by unknown power contains the power of amplifying flames. When the fire element moves or released, the power will be increased by 10%. Close black lens bracket. Nice one. Looking at the synthesized ring in front of him, Bai Yi had a happy smile on his face. After putting it on, he felt that the fire element wandering around him became much more active. With this ring, coupled with the Qingliu bracelet and potion, his combat power has been greatly improved today. This is a good beginning. There are still a lot of things left, but the number of synthesis needs to be refreshed tomorrow, so Bai Yi can only wait until tomorrow. Looking at the tiger mother who was playing with her son, Bai Yi said, Tiger mom, let me leave for a moment. I will go to a place to summon you later. Don't resist. Tell your son not to resist either. Roar, summon. Right. Hooray, okay. I got it. I want to eat meat anyway. Okay, I'll give it to you later. Bai Yi rolled his eyes, responded angrily and then went offline. Dot dot dot. Call. Putting down his phone, Bai Yi relaxed and felt extremely comfortable. Just like yesterday, I was immersed in the game without knowing the passage of time. When I looked out the window, the sky was already dark. I looked at the time, it was 8 o'clock in the evening. After Bai Yi rested for a while, he took his mobile phone and went out. He still bought a lot of supplies. At the same time, considering that he was going to raise a big tiger, Bai Yi also bought hundreds of kilograms of beef before returning home. When I got home, it started raining heavily outside. Bai Yi put away the supplies he bought, came to the living room, held his mobile phone, and clicked on the big and small tigers in the sanctuary with anticipation in his eyes. A prompt pops up immediately. Is it present? Close black lens bracket. Yes. Swish. Two rays of light, one large and one small, appeared in front of him. After the light dissipated, the tiger mother immediately looked around with vigilant eyes. But after seeing Bai Yi, his vigilant eyes suddenly disappeared, and he turned to look at the beef on the side, and his saliva flowed out. Roar, is this my meat? Ha ha, yes, it's your meat, eat it. Bai Yi couldn't help laughing. It could be seen that the tiger mother had been hungry for a long time, but it was normal to think about it. In a place like the Dark Land, there was no room for animals and plants to survive. Only a few beasts survived, and it was too difficult to survive. Looking at the tiger mother who was about to start eating and drinking, Bai Yi did not forget to remind her. By the way, tiger mom, don't yell later, or you'll get into trouble. Who, I know. With the meat right in front of her eyes, the tiger mother became very obedient. After saying yes, she started eating the meat directly. There was actually a light of happiness in his eyes. Ouch. Cerebellar Axe also smelled the aroma coming from the beef, and was about to pounce on it with a roar. However, Bai Yi picked her up directly, stopped her with one hand, and held her in her arms. Ouch. Cerebellum Max was very anxious. Seeing her mother eating and drinking so much, she wanted to go, so she kept struggling in Bai Yi's arms. Bai Yi immediately hugged the cerebellum and hurriedly ruminated. You haven't grown up yet. You can't eat this meat. You'd better wait until your mother finishes eating before feeding you milk. After saying that, Bai Yi continued to ramble. Don't tell me, this little thing is really soft. Holding it in your arms is like sucking a cat, which makes people want to stop. After playing with the little guy for a while, Bai Yi went to give it a bath, blow-dried it and threw it on the sofa in the living room. 
At this time, the tiger mother also finished eating and began to feed the little guy. There was a gurgling sound in Bai Yi's stomach. Because I didn't eat at night, I was very hungry now, so I ran to the kitchen and bought three packs of instant noodles, plus two eggs and two hams. Hiccup. After eating and drinking, Bai Yi burped and felt full of happiness. The time came to 10 o'clock before I knew it. Bai Yi took a bath, lay on the sofa, pillowed on the tiger mother's body, holding the little tiger biting its hair and playing with it in his arms, the warm atmosphere continued to spread. Take your mobile phone and click on the anonymous forum. There are more posts than during the day. Obviously, there are more players. After all, players know about this game. Although they will hide it from the public, they will never hide it from their families. With mutual communication, there will only be more and more players. Bai Yi has been an orphan since he was a child. He is a very classic protagonist template, so he has no one to tell. As for telling the public, he didn't have this idea either. Let's not talk about whether anyone will believe it. Officials in various countries are hiding it. If you spread the word at this time, what do you want to do? And Bai Yi probably just sent the message and it would be deleted the next second. So it's better not to ask for trouble. The most important thing is to live your own life well. After rebirth, Bai Yi has three dreams. First, work hard to evolve your own shelter so that you have a home that can provide you with a sense of security in a dark place. Second, develop shelters and recruit wanderers. It is best to recruit a few elves, succubi, etc., and develop the bloodline of the Bai family by doing things you love to see if you can become the overlord of one party. The third thing is to work hard to become stronger and become a god. In the end, see if you can solve the evil god. If you can, just solve it. If you can't, forget it. As for other things, it has nothing to do with him and he doesn't care. Dot dot dot. There are many posts in the forum. But most are complaining about the same thing. Damn it, it's raining so heavily in the game that I can't explore at all. Close double angle bracket. It's over, I died again today. I originally wanted to explore in the heavy rain, but there were monsters in the rain. Close double angle bracket. I'm so bored without games to play. Does anyone know when the rain will stop? Close double angle bracket. I vomited, why is there water in my shelter? Will this heavy rain flood my shelter? Close double angle bracket. Quote dot 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 quote. Has the rain stopped yet? Bai Yi was also stunned for a moment when he saw these posts. Then he frowned, took a deep breath, and murmured. It's probably a natural disaster. The natural disasters shrouded in darkness are not only natural disasters, but what is even more terrifying is the birth of corresponding monsters. A post on the forum explained that he saw a monster in a heavy rain, which led to his death. That was probably the monster brought during the flood. I just don't know how long this natural disaster will last. At the same time, he has some concerns about the shelter. Some people's shelters were flooded. His shelter was not waterproof, and if he ignored it, that would probably be the result. Although it doesn't matter if it floods because we are in the game, it will be troublesome to deal with it after the natural disaster is over. So Bai Yi plans to upgrade it again. After upgrading twice, there will be a waterproof entry, so you shouldn't have to worry about it then. It's just that I'll probably have to stay up late tonight. Bai Yi sighed helplessly, and then clicked on the game. Open your liver. The next day, with the air conditioner on, the room was cool. Bai Yi woke up slowly under the air conditioner. After yawning, Bai Yi looked into his arms. The tiger cub was still sleeping, but the tiger mother beside him was licking his hair. When he saw Bai Yi wake up, he couldn't help but growl, indicating that he was hungry. You get hungry so fast. Bai Yi couldn't help but complain when he thought of the hundred pounds of beef that was eaten yesterday. It can only be said that raising tigers is not that easy. The food consumed every day is a huge amount. Fortunately, I was raised before the darkness fell. Modern society is still harmonious and I can easily buy a lot of food with money. If darkness falls, Bai Yi will probably die of worry. Shaking his head, Bai Yi took the tiger cub out of his arms and put him into the tiger mother's arms, then got up and went to the bathroom to wash up. Yesterday, he woke up at 3 or 4 in the middle of the night after sleeping for 6 hours, so he was still a little sleepy. But I have to go to the official trading market later, so I can only endure my sleepiness. After washing up, Bai Yi asked Tiger Mother to stay at home, 
while he went out and bought another hundred pounds of beef, and also bought himself a pig's trotter rice. After returning home, Bai Yi clicked on the game on his mobile phone while eating. Crash, the character appears in the shelter, but can also hear the sound of pouring rain outside the shelter. It can be seen that it is raining heavily. It looks like it's a natural disaster. Bai Yi sighed. As a result, he could only wander around the shelter for the next period of time and collect some materials to upgrade the shelter. As for exploration, but don't think about it, it's simply impossible. Just by listening to the sound of rain, you can tell that the amount of precipitation is terrible. Sooner or later, floods will break out, and many places will be submerged, leaving no place to explore. Fortunately, the shelter was upgraded at midnight yesterday, so we don't have to worry about water leakage for the time being. Open black lens bracket shelter. Close black lens bracket. Attribution. By ye. Close black lens bracket. Size. 300 square meters. Close black lens bracket. Number of upgrades. 2. Close black lens bracket. Number of evolutions. None. Close black lens bracket. Seismic resistance level. 3. Close black lens bracket. Sound insulation level. 3. Close black lens bracket. Thermal insulation level. 3. Close black lens bracket. Comfort level. 3. Close black lens bracket. Waterproof level. 1. Close black lens bracket. Layout. Core room X1, bedroom X1, living room X1, bathroom X1. Close black lens bracket. Special buildings. None. Close black lens bracket. The upgraded shelter has an additional 100 square meters of space and looks a little more empty because there is no layout. But the interior looks comfortable. The walls have changed from stone to wooden walls, and the brown-yellow color is warm. Because it has been upgraded twice, it can start to evolve once it is upgraded again. So Bai Yi decided to take advantage of the natural disaster period in the next few days to upgrade the shelter and then evolve it. By then, he might be able to get some powerful features. We have to build another room for the tiger mother. Then get some furniture and arrange it. We still have to find a way to get drainage. Bai Yi is planning to renovate the shelter. After all, this will be his home in the future, so he must plan it carefully. After dinner, it was already one o'clock. The tiger cub had woken up long ago and was lying obediently in the mother's arms to nurse. Bai Yi said, Tiger mom, I'm going out later and I can't take you with me. I will teleport you to the place where you were yesterday. Remember not to resist later. Roar, tiger mom nodded. Bai Yi didn't waste any more time and recalled the two tigers, one big and one small, into the sanctuary and then he was ready to go out. Dot dot dot. Suburbs. A huge abandoned factory area. Originally this place was deserted, but after official renovations in the past few days, it has become a market unknown to the general public, with a large number of soldiers patrolling secretly. At the same time, people were coming and going. Many people came here wearing masks or masks and walked into the factory. The outside still showed signs of being deserted, but inside, it was gorgeously decorated and bustling. The official has prepared many stalls for players to set up stalls. At the same time, he was also setting up a stall and selling some props. When Bai Yi came here, he also put on a mask. At the gate of the factory, a man in a suit stopped Bai Yi who wanted to go in and said, Hello, please check your identity before entering. Oh, how to check? The man took out his mobile phone and gestured to the game software inside. Bai Yi suddenly realized, took out his mobile phone and clicked on the screen, found the game software and gave the other party a look. After confirming that Bai Yi was indeed a player, the man let Bai Yi in. After going all the way deep and passing through a long passage, the noise continued to reach my ears. Looking around, there are at least hundreds of players inside. Some are setting up stalls. Some were browsing the stalls, looking for valuable things. Some are talking to people. But what made Bai Yi feel most outrageous was that here, he actually saw many people from the group holding up signs to recruit people. What kind of penguins, warwicks, etc. Only. Why does this place always look familiar? Bai Yi frowned, feeling confused. Since arriving at this place, he felt as if he had seen or heard of this place at some point. Probably because the memory was too old, he didn't remember it for a while. But there is always a bad feeling. I'm afraid it's dangerous. 
Bai Yi took a deep breath and became vigilant subconsciously. Maybe there is real danger, maybe not. Maybe the danger comes from the authorities, maybe not. In short, even after arriving, Bai Yi had no intention of leaving immediately. Instead, he took a deep breath and started walking around inside. Come on, take a look. The fresh materials have just been collected from the corruptors. If you need them, come quickly. Selling wood, selling stone, a lot of shelter upgrade resources, they will be sold out soon. We will pay a lot of money to collect props and weapons. If you are interested in selling them, you can come directly. There were constant shouts in my ears. Bai Yi couldn't help but shake his head, a little disappointed. What most people set up stalls are useless garbage. It's not collected materials, just some resources, of no use. After thinking about it, Bai Yi didn't want to waste time anymore and was going to rent a stall and start setting up a stall. To rent a stall, register with the official staff not far away. When Bai Yi walked over, he also found someone familiar. Ni Mang, you're here too. Although Bai Yi was wearing a mask, Ni Mang still recognized him with a surprised tone. Bai Yi nodded with a smile and said, Come and take a look. After all, it happens to be in the magic city. Let's rent a stall. I also want to set up a stall. After registering with Ni Mang, Bai Yi got his stall number, number 47. Instead of leaving in a hurry, he chatted with Ni Meng again and learned that Ni Meng was here not only to do ordinary things such as registration, but also to be responsible for security and other work. As an official, you will obviously know more information than ordinary people. Therefore, Bai Yi inquired, Has anything happened since this game came out? Hearing this, Ni Meng raised his head, glanced at Bai Yi, and chuckled. I asked you why you didn't leave for a long time after registering. That's why. Ahem. Isn't this a question? Bai Yi knew he had been spotted, so he touched his nose and smiled. Anyway, as long as I am not embarrassed, others will be embarrassed. Ni Meng pondered for a moment and then said, Something happened. It's not that I can't tell you. It's just that I can't reveal it to ordinary people. Don't worry, I have the strictest mouth. Bai Yi nodded quickly in assurance. Ni Meng rolled his eyes and said, since the appearance of this game, the number of players has been increasing day by day. In this game, people can gain extraordinary powers. I think you also know this. Bai Yi nodded. The most important thing about this game is that it allows people to gain strength. And once a person gains power beyond what he had before, many ideas and ambitions that he didn't have before will emerge one by one. In this regard, the officials have made predictions long ago, so they have made preparations in advance. Night patrol branches have been established in all provinces and cities across the country, so that any situation can be detected immediately. And with the official power, it's hard to say anything else, but in terms of players, it definitely occupies the largest number. With the huge number of players exploring, they must have already mastered extraordinary power. Even if someone makes trouble, they can be suppressed by force. But compared to China, things abroad are very chaotic. Ni Meng said, in those countries far away, chaos basically broke out. Cults, organizations, etc. all appeared. Some were suppressed, but some also caught those countries off guard, causing the deaths of many ordinary people. Recently, in Banksy country next door to us, I heard that some chables have the idea of replacing them and have taken some actions, but I don't know the specific actions. Anyway, apart from us at home and abroad, many other countries are in chaos. There are all kinds of forces emerging in an endless stream, both openly and secretly. However, these news have been suppressed by officials from various countries, and ordinary people basically will not know about it. You don't have to worry, our country is still very safe, and there are currently no criminal organizations. Besides, you don't have to worry about what the officials will do to you. Again, as long as you don't seek death, the officials will treat players the same as ordinary people. I understand, then I'll be relieved. Bai Yi nodded with a smile on his face. He doesn't care about the affairs of other countries, as long as there are no problems in the country. In this way, he can stay safely until the moment the dark place comes. Okay, since there's no problem, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Bai Yi gave up and turned around and walked towards his stall. Looking at his leaving figure, Ni Meng shook his head, lowered his head and continued working. 
A staff member who was listening to the conversation between Bai Yi and Ni Meng said with a smile. Sister Meng, is this guy the player you and Brother Wang invited before? It's interesting that he actually came here to inquire about the news. He just looks a little timid. Other players are thinking about how to become stronger at this time. This guy was trying to find out if there was any danger. Ni Meng processed the documents without raising his head. Don't worry about others. Just finish what you are doing first, otherwise don't blame me for asking you to work overtime tonight. Forehead. The staff member twitched his mouth and became busy again. Dot dot dot. After finding his stall, Bai Yi sat down and started thinking about what to put on the table. The poisonous wooden stick must be placed. Restoration potions may also be considered. Other than that, there's not much else. But it can be synthesized. Today, the chance of three combinations has been refreshed, and Bai Yi can combine one wave. Thinking of this, Bai Yi took out his mobile phone, entered the game and clicked on his backpack. Looking at the garbage in the backpack, an idea immediately came to his mind. The first is the spider silk. Then there's the screamer's hide. Click compose. Then Bai Yi got excited and wanted to see what he could synthesize. Then, a prompt appeared. The synthesis is successful, you have obtained the screamer leather armor. Close black lens bracket. Hey, have you combined the equipment? Bai Yi had a surprised smile on his face and quickly checked. Screamer leather armor. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. Leather armor made from the skin of the screamer and the silk of the spider monster has good resistance to blows and willfulness. It also has a certain degree of elemental resistance. It is very light and is a must-have for home travel. Prepare leather armor. Close black lens bracket. Good stuff. Looking at the introduction, Bai Yi couldn't help but his eyes lit up. Compared to the armor he is wearing now, this leather armor is much better. Not only does it have the ability to withstand strikes, but it also has elemental resistance. In other words, there are also certain defense methods against magic attacks. In this way, the armor on my body can be replaced. Stall equipment plus one. Bai Yi raised the corner of his mouth and put it on immediately. The armor on the character in the game disappeared and was replaced by a set of gray white leather armor, holding an iron sword, which looked much more majestic. Bai Yi continues to synthesize. Iron sword plus spider monster venom. Close black lens bracket. Click compose. The synthesis is successful, you have obtained the rotten sword. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket rotten tie dao. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. A sharp tachi has a poison that can corrode wounds. Once scratched, the wound will immediately fester. Close black lens bracket. Oh, the tetanus knife. Not bad, not bad. Bai Yi is very satisfied. With this knife in hand, the melee combat ability has been greatly improved. Today's three synthesis opportunities were reduced to one in the blink of an eye. This time, Bai Yi did not rush to synthesize, but planned to set up a stall first, and then decided whether to synthesize and what to synthesize based on the situation of the stall. After manifesting all the recovery potions, armor, and poisonous wooden sticks, Bai Yi placed them on his stall, then sat cross-legged, waiting for customers to come, and also played games. I have spent the past two days picking up garbage, including a lot of wood, stones, iron and the like. So Bai Yi planned to renovate the shelter, at least to get the tiger mother's rooms out first. Controlling the character to come to the synthesis box, Bai Yi clicked on it and took a look. There are various synthesis plans on it, such as rooms, beds, tables and chairs, etc. After choosing a plan, you can choose the materials and modify the size, shape, etc. Bai Yi didn't have the ability to do this, so he could only make an ordinary room of 20 square meters, with walls made of stone and wood. It's a pity that we don't have materials like wool, otherwise we could have made some furniture like beds and sofas. Bai Yi sighed. These materials are hard to find in the dark places. We can only wait for the darkness to fall and use real materials to make it. Of course, you can also consider buying the furniture in advance and then move it all in when darkness falls. At the same time, while Bai Yi was immersed in the game, a player came to Bai Yi's stall. Jen Peng is an office worker. Going to work day in and day out. It's boring, boring, and the pay is not high enough, which is unbearable. But I still had to endure it. To put it bluntly, for life. 
Zhen Pong has a good understanding of himself. He is an ordinary person among all living beings. Nothing outstanding, just average. But yesterday, he suddenly discovered a magical game, which made him suddenly full of hope for the future. It was a game called, Dark Asylum. Originally, he thought it was just an ordinary mini-game, but he did not expect that the props in the game could actually be realized in reality. At that moment, Zhen Peng thought he had the protagonist script, and maybe the next step would be his moment to take off. But unfortunately, after playing for three hours on the first day, not only did he not encounter a treasure chest, he also died at the hands of a corruptor. After that, Zhen Peng also searched on the internet with tentative ideas and found the anonymous forum. Only then did he realize that this game did not only have him as a player, but that there were many players. I'm just lucky, I didn't get a starring role script. But this also made Zhen Peng excited for a long time. After all, he also knows what is special about this game. As long as he becomes a player of this game, what does he want in the future? Although he is still a little Karami now, Zhen Peng, who feels that he is one step ahead of others, still firmly believes that his future will be brilliant. For this reason, he resolutely resigned from his job and prepared to play games at home every day and find ways to become stronger in the game. After learning about the officially established trading market in Magic City, he came here out of curiosity to take a look. After looking at the stalls one by one, he did find some good things. There is a blood-stained doll that can summon a ghost once. There is a sharp sword. But unfortunately the asking price is high. Some of them need to be redeemed with in-game resources. Some require cash. In the former, he has no precious resources. As for the latter, he is also poor and has not yet made any money through this game. So I can only live with my eyesight, and continue to browse in the market while secretly envying it. Unconsciously, he came to buy Yi's stall. Ben glanced casually and found some rags on the stall. For example, a potion that looks weird. There are also wooden sticks that are a bit green and a bit weird. That is, that set of armor looks so good that it makes Zhen Peng drool. If you give this to me, won't you be allowed to take off? Zhen Peng felt envious and jealous. Looking at other people's gains in the game, and then thinking about himself, he almost wanted to cry. But I have to say that this is the first thing Zhen Peng has seen that really moved his heart since he came here. He can't even deal with a single corruptor now. The venom is too disgusting. Even if he avoids the venom, he will be swarmed to death by the corruptors. If you have this set of armor, as long as you avoid the corruptor's venom, you don't have to worry about the rest of the physical attacks. I just don't know how much it will cost. Zhen Peng didn't dare to ask, fearing that it was a number he couldn't afford, so he planned to take out his phone to read the instructions. As long as the things in the game are realized in reality, players can view the instructions through the game software on their mobile phones. Originally he just wanted to see the armor, but he accidentally pointed his phone at the poisonous stick, and then the description of the poisonous stick appeared on the screen. Zhen Peng looked around and his eyes suddenly widened. FK. Subconsciously, he uttered a curse word. Poisonous wooden stick. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. The wooden stick contains highly corrosive poison. Its material is hard. When it hits the enemy, it has a chance of corroding the enemy's body. Close black lens bracket. This means, this effect. I originally thought it was a piece of junk on the stall, but it turned out to be a magic weapon. If I had this weapon in hand, wouldn't it be easy to open up wasteland? What kind of corroser, killing completely indiscriminately? Wait a minute, even this shabby looking stick is so strong, but what about this potion? Zhen Peng looked at the red potion on the side, his eyes lit up, and he quickly started looking at it. Holy shit. Seeing this, he couldn't help but let out a shocked curse. This damn thing is actually a red medicine. He was stunned, and then his eyes turned red with jealousy. Why do all the things I encounter are rags, but others are such good treasures? This is red medicine. It plays a huge role both in the game and in reality. Once a character is injured in the game, he will die without treatment. This will make it impossible to continue playing today and waste a lot of time. But with the recovery potion in hand, there is no such worry. In reality, this is something that can save lives. Brother, brother, do you sell this thing? Zhen Peng asked quickly. He was completely moved, decided to get something from this stall no matter what.
I originally thought that only armor was of some use. Now it seems that this stall is full of treasures. The eager look even attracted the attention of the surrounding players. They came over curiously and took their mobile phones to check the things on the stall. Then, a series of swear words sounded in front of Bai Yi's stall. FK me. This stick is a divine weapon. Is this a red pill? This must be a red pill, right? There is even such a thing in the game. Hiss, this armor is actually brand new. If I can put this thing on my character and hold this stick, what kind of corroser will it be? Wouldn't it be a random killing? Why are you so shocked? Let me come to Kang Kang too. Damn it, this stick is an artifact, where is this armor? Damn it, where is this potion? Damn it. Many players looked straight. I quickly asked Bai Yi about the price. Bai Yi was still immersed in the game when he suddenly heard a noisy sound in his ears. He subconsciously raised his head and was startled when he saw the densely packed heads in front of him. It took a long time to react. Boss, how do you sell this potion? Do you accept cash? I'll give you 10,000 a bottle. 10,000, are you sending beggars away? Get out of here, I'll take them all in a bottle of 100,000. I don't want potions, I just want my land reclamation artifact. Boss, please sell me this stick. I can trade it in cash, 500,000, how about it? Looking at the excited crowd in front of him, Baiyi raised the corners of his mouth. To be honest, these players in his previous life were basically big bosses in his eyes. Unexpectedly, in this life, he has become a big boss in the eyes of players. Baiyi was in a calm mood although it feels good to be called boss. But what price should it be? He wouldn't discount it. Don't worry, everyone, except for this set of armor, which can be traded with cash, I hope to exchange the other items with in-game resources. Bai Yi said, as soon as he finished speaking, many people had expressions of despair in their eyes. Most of them are people with rich families, and what they are most afraid of is Bai Yi's words. Because although they have money in reality, the precious equipment in the game really cannot be bought with money. Especially since most of them are new players, they don't have anything good to trade with Bai Yi. Someone asked unwillingly, Boss, is it really impossible to use cash? I will definitely be able to come up with a price you are satisfied with. Cannot, Bai Yi refused decisively. Real money is only useful within this month, after that it becomes like waste paper. As long as you have enough money, what do you need so much for? But some people are very smart. Since only armor can be traded with real money, it is better to buy the armor first. Boss, I want this armor, 500,000, how about it? Bai Yi raised his eyebrows, surprised by the price. It was not very low, but a bit high. After all, this is just a set of armor. But of course he would be happy if someone gave him money. No problem, this armor is yours. Bai Yi made the decision immediately. The visitor looked ecstatic and immediately put the armor into his game backpack in front of everyone and then transferred money to Bai Yi. Seeing this, the other players around them reacted and showed regret. Damn it, you are such a thief, you got all this. FK, why didn't I think of that? If I had known better, I would have taken off the armor first. Although I regret it, after thinking about it, it's okay. After all, it's just a set of armor. Spending half a million dollars is a waste. What do you know? Now we have to seize the opportunity. As far as I know, this game has not been out for a long time. The more you seize the opportunity, the more benefits you will get. But with this set of armor, you are afraid of not being able to seize the opportunity first, machine. It's just that I'm really ignorant. All the armor was traded, and others could only focus on the remaining potions and wooden sticks, showing envy. Compared with armor, the wooden stick is the real artifact for clearing the wasteland. In online games, this is an enchanted weapon. Its value is self-evident, and the description is also very clear. The power of this wooden stick is not weak, and it is probably still powerful. It's very hard, and it might as well be more flexible than ordinary cold weapons. Really want. But it's a pity that they don't have any good stuff in the game. But not everyone. A young man squeezed through the crowd and walked up to Bai Yi. He first glanced at the poisonous wooden stick, his eyes full of surprise, and then asked. Boss, I wonder what resources you want. Special metal or special material. Bai Yi is not short of ordinary resources. 
only special metals and materials are needed. The former is required for shelter evolution. The latter can be synthesized by yourself. As for the extraordinary runes and the like, Baiyi didn't think about it. No one was a fool, and these things couldn't be replaced by those. Hearing this, many people immediately thought about their own resources and wondered if they could find what Baiyi needed. There are also young men from rich families who directly make a phone call and ask their subordinates to spend money to buy it. At this time, the young man gritted his teeth, took out a piece of paper-like thing from his game backpack, handed it to Bai Yi, and asked. Boss, how about exchanging this thing for your wooden stick? Oh, Bai Yi took it and took a look curiously, with a surprised expression on his face. You actually got the blueprints. Drawing. Watchtower. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. Special buildings require a synthesis box to be used. After use, materials can be consumed to build a watchtower building, which can observe all conditions within a hundred meters of the shelter at all times. Close black lens bracket. Number of times. One time. Close black lens bracket. This is a special drawing. It is also a special building that can be built in the shelter. The so-called special buildings refer to buildings with additional effects. In the previous life, Baiyi didn't have any. In addition to the rare blueprints, it was also difficult to find materials for special buildings. Of course, the most important thing was that in his last life he was still struggling with food and clothing, so he had no spare time to collect this thing. However, it has to be said that this drawing is very effective and can effectively observe everything within a hundred meters of the shelter. This means that once the watchtower is built, any dangerous situation around the shelter can be immediately detected. The young man asked with a smile. I was lucky enough to get it from the box. Boss, can this blueprint be exchanged for your poisonous wooden stick? This drawing is very precious. Young people also know it. But unfortunately it's completely useless to him right now. Apart from the lack of materials, he had no idea what the synthesis box was. Instead of keeping it in his hand, he might as well take it out and exchange it for a weapon that he could use. With weapons, he can explore the game world better and get more good things. Bai Yi nodded with a smile and was about to agree. After all, he couldn't get this thing in his previous life. If he could get it in this life, he wouldn't miss it. Etc. But at this moment, a voice sounded. Immediately afterwards, Ni Meng came over with some staff and looked at the things on Bai Yi's stall, with a look of surprise on his face. I didn't expect to encounter such a good thing this time. She was still at work when she heard her staff say there were good things here. Without any hesitation, she rushed over with her people. When I saw the description of the items on the stall, I was even more glad that I didn't miss it. But when she saw that the stall owner was Bai Yi, she couldn't help but be stunned. It's you. Ni Meng was a little surprised. He didn't expect Bai Yi to be selling these things. After all, in her impression, Bai Yi is just an ordinary player. Especially after Bai Yi inquired about information from her before, she did not respond to what her staff said, but she still agreed with it in her heart. But now it seems, timid. Not necessarily. Perhaps he doesn't want the chaos in the country to affect his gaming experience, right? Ni Meng's thoughts were complicated. Bai Yi didn't think so much, nodded and asked with a smile. It's me, Captain Ni, what's going on? There is a nameplate on Ni Meng's swollen breasts, which reads her identity as the captain of the Seventh Night Watch team, so Bai Yi calls her captain. Hearing Bai Yi's words, Ni Meng quickly came back to his senses. Although I have mixed feelings and I begin to feel that Bai Yi is not simple, I still have to win this thing. She said immediately, of course there is something wrong. Shouldn't your weapon be prohibited from being sold to official personnel? Of course not. Bai Yi shook his head. He wished the official would get involved. After all, the official hands must have something good. Hearing this, Ni Meng smiled and took out a piece of blue animal skin from his game backpack. Then please take a look. I don't know if I can replace your poisonous wooden stick. The fur of the wind whaler. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. The fur of the wind whaler possesses the wind power of the wind whaler. Close black lens bracket. Bai Yi looked at the animal skin Ni Meng took out with an expression of surprise. This is indeed a good thing. He also knew that the Wind Whaler was a humanoid monster that could control strong winds and was very powerful. At least Bai Yi can't be his opponent now. Therefore, 
it is unlikely that this fur was obtained by officially killing the whaler. It is most likely obtained from a treasure chest or some places. It's a pity that good things are good things, but Bai Yi shook his head and said, Not enough. Isn't this enough? Ni Meng frowned. Of course not enough. Bai Yi said lightly, Although this fur is very good, it is of no use to me now. It is like useless, useless to eat, and a pity to discard. I think this is why Captain Ni chose to trade it with me, right? Ni Meng's eyes drifted, but he didn't deny it. Bai Yi said with a faint smile. So it's okay if I say it's not enough. Well, according to what you said, it's really no problem. Ni Meng felt a little embarrassed. After all, Bai Yi expressed her inner thoughts. But she didn't show it. Instead she touched her chin and pondered for a moment, then gritted her teeth and took out a piece of black metal and said. Then if I add this, it will be okay, right? Oh, Bai Yi raised his brows and couldn't help but sigh that official personnel have so many good things. Even if there is an extraordinary material, this metal looks quite extraordinary. Bai Yi quickly took it and read it. Vampire gold. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. Special metals have the effect of absorbing blood and can only be obtained from veins containing a variety of ores. Close black lens bracket. It's actually this kind of metal. Bai Yi's eyes lit up. If he remembered correctly, this metal was a material that many people liked to use as weapons in the previous life because weapons forged with this material can absorb the enemy's blood when they hurt the enemy. But that's all. It cannot absorb the enemy's blood and feed it back to itself at the same time. But Bai Yi was also very moved. After all, if this thing is combined with my tetanus knife to create a blood-sucking entry, wouldn't it become a paper knife for my aunt? A chop would not only cause the wound to rot, but also keep sucking blood. That picture. Hiss. It's scary to think about it. As for taking it to the evolutionary shelter. Forget it. Just this one piece is simply not enough. Bai Yi raised the corners of his mouth, nodded and smiled. Okay, that's enough. As soon as he finished speaking, the expression of the young man beside him suddenly changed. Wait, boss, no, I was here first. The weapon he was about to get was about to be given away, and he suddenly became anxious. I know you're in a hurry, but don't worry yet. Bai Yi smiled. I didn't say I only had one weapon. The words fell. The surrounding players looked startled. But the young man's eyes lit up. Boss, do you still have it? Ni Meng also looked surprised and asked quickly. More than one. How many more do you have? I want them all. Don't think about it. There's only a handful left. Bai Yi rolled his eyes, picked up his phone and pretended to take something out of his backpack, but in fact he started to consume the last number of synthesis times. Open black lens bracket iron plus wood stick. Close black lens bracket. Click compose. The synthesis is successful. You have obtained the ironwood mace. Close black lens bracket. Ironwood mace. Close black lens bracket. Explanation. A mace made of wood as hard as steel, covered with spikes. It is extremely hard and has a strong striking ability. Close black lens bracket. Tisk. I didn't expect that what was synthesized by this synthesis path would actually be a mace. Bai Yi was also a little surprised. It seems that many synthesis times can be followed this path in the future. Shaking his head, he took out the iron wood mace, handed it to the young man, and said. How about I exchange this weapon for your blueprint? The young man took it and took a look. His face immediately lit up and he nodded repeatedly. Yes, yes, very yes. Although this mace has no enchantment effect, it is definitely a sharp weapon. Everything in the game is very real. The same goes for killing creatures. It's not like killing an enemy in ordinary games, where you have to hit it with a knife several times before it dies. In the dark shelter, as long as the power is enough, it can be solved in one go. With this mace in hand, as long as it can hit the corruptor's head, it will basically be a fatal blow. As long as you're satisfied, I'll take the drawings. Hey, you can take it. The young man nodded with a smile and put the mace into his backpack. As for the poisonous wooden stick, Bai Yi gave it to Ni Mang. Ni Mang had a complicated look on his face after putting it into his backpack. Are there any good things? If you have any, you can take them out. I'll cover them all. I thought it was just these things on the stall, but I didn't expect Bai Yi to pull out another good weapon with his backhand. She felt that there must be something good about Bai Yi. 
Although there are a lot of official goodies, you must know that there are too many official players, and it is not her turn at all. Especially for weapons, which are very precious items nowadays, you usually have to apply for it. If the application is approved, you must make a contribution, can be redeemed. Not to mention such a powerful weapon. Bai Yi rolled his eyes and curled his lips. No, don't think about it. There are only three bottles of recovery potion left. Do you want it? If you want it, only a fool doesn't want it. Ni Meng is not a fool, so she naturally understands the importance of recovery potions. The official government actually has this stuff, but not many. There are three bottles in front of her now, and she doesn't want to let go of even one. But, do these three bottles of recovery potions also require special metals or materials? Bai Yi didn't answer immediately, but rubbed his chin and started thinking. Materials are not necessary at the moment. To put it bluntly, he thinks a little too much. I originally wanted to see if I could get some metal from the evolutionary shelter. But with the player's current progress, I'm afraid they won't be able to get much out of it. Instead of doing this, it is better to change to something that you can currently use. Thinking of this, Bai Yi said, in addition to special materials and metals, resources are also available, such as wood, stone and iron, but the quantities will be large. Really, when Ni Meng heard this, his eyes lit up. Even the surrounding players' eyes lit up. If you say they don't have special materials yet, but if you say these ordinary things, they won't be sleepy. There is no shortage of trash, guys in any game, and this game is no different. Bai Yi also knew this, so he nodded and affirmed. Yes, as long as the quantity makes my heart move, that's fine. Although he himself had collected basic resources, he had basically used them after a long night yesterday, so he took this opportunity to get some from other players. Boss, I have it. I have all these things. In addition to 100 units of iron, I have 1000 units of stone and wood. I only need a bottle of potion. How about it? You dare to ask for a bottle of potion with this? Are you crazy? I will give you 2,000 each for stone and wood, and 500 for iron. Boss, leave me a bottle. As Bai Yi gave a definite answer, the players became lively again and bid enthusiastically. Of the three bottles of recovery potion, Bai Yi didn't keep any of them and sold them all. One bottle was sold to Ni Mang. One bottle was sold to a young man who also bought weapons from Bai Yi. One bottle was sold to a wealthy man. A total of 12,000 units of wood and stone were harvested, and 3,000 units of iron were harvested. Although Bai Yi could keep a bottle for himself as a spare, he gave up after thinking about it. Nothing else. At least he won't be able to use this thing before darkness falls. After all, if you die in the game, you will die, and you can be resurrected tomorrow. If you are really injured, you can use divine flames to replace it. Tiger mothers and tiger cubs can also be summoned into reality at any time, so there is no need to worry about danger. There is still about a month before darkness falls. Bai Yi thinks that with his ability, he will be able to obtain a lot of recovery potions by then. In contrast, it is better to sell it now for some resources and go back to upgrade the shelter later. Bai Yi gained a lot from this visit to the market. Not only did he gain blueprints, special materials, or metals, but also a lot of resources. After that, Bai Yi had nothing to sell, so he was going to stroll around in the market and then go home. Hey, what about that, boss, please add your contact information. At this time, the young man who bought the mace from Bai Yi came over and took out his mobile phone with a sincere expression. Looking at the expectant eyes, Bai Yi shook his head funny and said, Okay. Add it. Many friends, many paths. Bai Yi had just chatted with this guy, and then discovered that this guy was also a rich man, and he was also the son of Yida Group, Wang Si. Such a rich person will definitely have a certain team of players under his command. After adding contact information, if you don't need it in the future, you can sell it in exchange for some resources. After adding friends, Wang Si asked happily, Boss, I still don't know what your name is. Bai Yi, hey, then I will call you Brother Bai. Brother Bai, you are so awesome. You actually have so many good things. If you still have something to sell next time, remember to contact me. I am short of other things, but definitely there's no shortage of money. Wang Si said with sincerity. Hearing this, Bai Yi smiled and nodded. 
Wang Si didn't stay any longer and turned around to leave. He probably just got the weapon and couldn't wait to go back and try it out. He must have noticed that he and Wang Si had added contact information to each other, so after a while Ni Meng also came over, took out his phone and shook it. Bai Yi naturally understood what it meant, and he and Ni Meng added to it. Ni Meng squinted her eyes, had a delicate oval face, and a graceful figure. She was definitely a goddess. Nowadays, he is wearing an official uniform and has a curvy figure, which invisibly adds to his own charm, making Bai Yi couldn't help but take a few glances. I have to say, the big headlights are a bit dazzling. Ni Meng asked with a smile. Bai Yi, it was inconvenient to have so many people just now, but now it's just the two of us. I want to know if you can sell the equipment you have. Oh, Bai Yi looked startled, and then took a deep look at this woman. What a smart woman. It can be seen that Ni Meng has guessed that he will have better equipment. After all, only unwanted equipment will be sold. Bai Yi shook his head and said, Not for sale, besides you can't afford it. How do you know if you don't ask? Ni Meng said, I'm not buying it for myself, but I'm asking on behalf of the superiors. With the abilities of the superiors, I think there is still something that can be obtained to buy the equipment you are wearing. Just as Bai Yi thought, she did guess that Bai Yi would have better equipment. But she couldn't afford it herself. Instead, a senior executive from the Night Watch branch in the Magic City asked her to ask if there was a chance to buy it. Apart from anything else, they can still get some extraordinary materials. Unfortunately, Bai Yi still firmly shook his head and refused. Seeing this, although Ni Meng secretly said it was a pity, he still held on to the idea of befriending her so that Bai Yi could contact her next time if he had equipment to sell. Through today's transaction, anyone with a discerning eye can see that Bai Yi is a capable player, otherwise he wouldn't be able to get so many good things, so he would naturally not be offended. Bai Yi did not refuse Ni Meng's request, and of course, he did not agree. To put it bluntly, when the time comes, it will definitely be sold to whomever offers the higher price. Okay. Anyway, I just hope you don't forget me when the time comes. Ni Meng said helplessly. Hearing this, Bai Yi raised the corners of his mouth and smiled. That's not possible. Captain Ni is so beautiful. I can't forget her even if I want to. Ha, huh, that's a good thing. I guess you have a good idea, but I have something else to do, so I'll take my leave now. Goodbye. Ni Meng crossed his arms over his chest, and a smile flashed in his eyes. A woman is always happy when someone praises her beauty, not to mention that the person who praises her is a capable man. Bai Yi nodded, separated from Ni Meng, and continued to stroll in the market. Before I knew it, another hour or two passed. Crash. It rained heavily. This is not in the game. But in reality. Bai Yi stood at the door of the market, listening to the sound of heavy rain, feeling helpless. He didn't bring an umbrella when he came, so how could he go back? The sky is gradually getting darker, with heavy rain, and the sky is covered with dark clouds. Misty water droplets are constantly dripping, producing water vapor, as if a heavy fog has descended, making it difficult to see the direction that is too far away. Like Bai Yi, many people stood at the entrance of the market to take shelter from the rain, waiting for the heavy rain to end before going home. Someone was chatting. Someone is playing a game. Others recognized Bai Yi and wanted to come over and become friends. Bai Yi did not refuse and agreed one after another. And at the same time, outside the factory, in the lush forest not far away, figures gathered here one after another, wearing black robes and windbreakers, covering their faces. There were many of them, probably more than twenty. The leader was a tall figure. He did not cover his face. It was easy to tell whether he was from Daxia. At this time, he looked in the direction of the factory with a cold smile on his face. Friends, the time has come, let's deal with all these guys. The words fell, the eyes of the people behind them flashed with excitement. The danger is spreading, but no one in the market noticed it. The rain gradually lightened up. Bai Yi is also ready to leave. But at this time, Ni Meng came over and smiled. I remember your home is far away from here, right? How about I give you a ride? Captain Ni will send you off, I will definitely be happy. In the company of a beautiful woman, Bai Yi certainly had no reason to refuse. Although he had no idea, at least it was eye-catching. 
Ni Meng's red lips raised slightly and she smiled. Don't get me wrong, this is the leader's task. Let's get to know you so that you don't forget us when you have something good next time. Haha, <laughs> okay, for Captain Ni's sake, I will definitely not forget it. Bai Yi nodded with a smile. Then let's go, my car is over there. Ni Meng had a smile in his eyes and walked towards the parking place. Suddenly, boom, a gunshot rang out suddenly. There seemed to be a moment of silence in the air. Immediately afterwards, Bai Yi suddenly turned back to look at the source of the sound. On the edge of the street, a player's chest was stained with blood and he fell down with his eyes wide open. On the other side of the road, a figure in black robes walked out, holding a gun in his hand, and began to pour out firepower crazily. Grass. Bai Yi's expression suddenly changed and he threw Ni Meng down without hesitation and hid behind a car. Bang bang bang. The gunfire was like rain, and sparks flew everywhere. Many screams sounded immediately. At the same time, other players screamed in horror. Bai Yi said with a shocked look. Captain Ni, didn't you say nothing would happen in our country? What is going on? I don't know either, but it seems that they are not from our Daxia. They should be forces from outside. Damn it, I didn't expect that they would take action against us here. Ni Meng looked ugly and without hesitation pulled out a gun from his waist and started to fight back. Bai Yi turned around and took a peek, feeling frightened. The one or twenty men in black robes were just like the gangsters in the movie, shooting continuously with hot weapons. He saw several players being beaten to pieces on the spot, which made Bai Yi's eyelids jump. Brutal. Bloody. Bai Yi frowned. Outside forces. Why are they attacking us? You can't just want to kill people for no reason, right? Hearing this, Ni Meng hesitated and whispered. These guys may indeed be here to kill people. Bai Yi was shocked. What's the meaning? Ni Meng explained. It's a secret news. In this game, you can get things from other players by killing them. There are rumors that even shelters can be dropped. What? Bai Yi looked shocked, shocked by the news. After all, he had never heard of such a situation in his previous life. Of course, this is normal. After all, he was not a player in the last life. However, with the advent of the Dark Land, many aspects of the game have changed. In addition, not many people have discussed it, so naturally he does not know. But after the shock, Bai Yi understood. You mean, these guys have been prepared for a long time. Because they know that there is a market transaction here, they come here specifically to kill people and want to get good things from the players. Right, Ni Meng nodded. Bai Yi took a deep breath and said in a deep voice. Now what? What do you think? Ni Meng threw a gun over, his gaze piercing. Kill them all. These guys dare to take action in Daxia. They are really looking for death. Don't even think about leaving today. After the words fell, Ni Meng stuck his head out and fired two shots, killing a man in black. Seeing this, Bai Yi's mouth twitched slightly. You guys have been playing the game for so long, and you don't have any special abilities to just deal with them. Ni Meng shook his head decisively. No, to put it bluntly, the game has been around for too short a time, and props with extraordinary abilities cannot be allocated to them for the time being. Hearing this, Bai Yi sighed. So do I still have to take action to solve it? He doesn't really want to reveal his extraordinary abilities. To put it bluntly, being too pushy is not a good thing, especially before darkness falls. If darkness falls, he won't have so many worries. After all, there will be so many things to worry about then, who will focus on you. But now that his life and safety were at stake, Bai Yi had to take action even if he didn't want to. When Ni Meng heard this, he couldn't help but turned his head and looked over, with a look of astonishment on his face. Just when he was about to say something, he saw Bai Yi raised his right hand, and a golden white flame suddenly rose in the palm of his hand. For a moment, Ni Meng opened his mouth, and a look of shock suddenly appeared on his face. Divine Flame Technique Bai Yi didn't pay attention to Ni Meng's gaze, but with a movement in his heart, he waved his right hand, and the golden flame turned into a fire snake and roared away. Extremely fast, with blazing heat. The moment the divine flame technique was unleashed, it attracted everyone's attention. Including those in black. W what is this? Fire snake. It seems that they are coming to us. Damn it, it doesn't look like it, or it's just coming to us. Someone seemed to have a bad premonition, 
and immediately roared and shot at the fire snake, trying to kill it. But it is a pity that the fire snake is formed by the divine flame technique and has no entity at all. The bullet will only pass through it and cannot affect it at all. The fire snake hissed and hit a man in black in an instant. Ah, the painful screams immediately sounded. The entire body of the man in black was instantly burned. He fell to the ground and made a painful sound. However, the sound disappeared in less than two seconds and he was burned alive. But it's not over yet. Under Bai Yi's control, the fire snake screamed and pounced on the men in black. This is not an ordinary flame, but a divine flame. Its power is extremely terrifying. Anyone in black who is contaminated by the fire snake will immediately burst into flames. But in the blink of an eye, more than a dozen men in black were set alight and burned to death. Except for the few people who were beaten to death by the officials, there were only two men in black present with frightened expressions on their faces, and they were stunned to the spot. Seeing this, Bai Yi snorted coldly and raised his hand again. Etc. At this time, Wang Jiangguo exclaimed and stopped Bai Yi. At the same time, two staff members found the opportunity and swooped forward, knocking the two men in black down to their uniforms. A ray of light flashed in Bai Yi's eyes, and he stopped thinking about using the divine flame technique. He knew that the official was going to arrest him alive for interrogation. It just so happened that he also wanted to know what was going on. With all the enemies eliminated, the gunfire stopped completely. Some players carefully walked out of their hiding places. After finding that there was no danger, they all breathed a sigh of relief, with a look of relief on their faces. Then, they looked at Bai Yi, with burning eyes full of envy, excitement, gratitude, etc. Bai Yi, who used the divine flame technique to kill more than a dozen people, shocked them severely. It also allowed them to truly see the extraordinary power in the game for the first time, how terrifying it is. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.